Hello, my name is Troy Knudsen and I am a certified personal trainer. Today we're going to go over the uh, hip flexors. They are right there. Can't quite see them right now, but you will soon uh, see them a lot better. They're, we're going to go over the hip flexors, their function, what they do right there, um, and also some of the assisting muscles and uh, the antagonistic muscles, uh, some common ways that we use our hip flexors, uh, the origin and insertion of them, uh, problems that can happen because of uh, shortened hip flexors, and uh, how to avoid shortening your hip flexors. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Uh, we're in Maya here, this is an animation program, and I am screen capturing this with um, I show you. So hopefully this works pretty well. This is my first time doing this, so we're gonna see how this goes. I'm more of a personal trainer than an animator, so forgive my uh, lack of animation skills right here. I'm sort of learning this. This is I've been doing this for about a month, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so your hip flexors, what is their function? The function of the hip flexors is to pick up the hip. And where are they? The hip is right there. Uh, it's moving around. We can see it better at this angle. So here's your hip. And your femur bone, there's your quads, hamstrings would be in back, glutes are back here, hip flexors would be right about there. So I'm going to get rid of some of these layers here so that you can see uh, your legs a little bit, see the hip flexors better. So there we got rid of some leg muscles. Now we're going to get rid of some of the upper body um, muscles there. So some in the torso. And where is that at? I don't think it's a torso. There we go, got rid of them. Perfect. So now we have a better view of our hip flexors right there. There's so our hip flexors. They connect at around uh, what, what would seem to be a little lower here, around uh, T12 and down to the lumbar spine here uh, is where they connect all along here. You can see these are fairly long because they connect all the way through there. All right, this is their origin and then they insert down here at your uh, femur bone, uh, top of the quads, right down there. So the function then, if they're, they're up here to down there, would be to accelerate, uh, actually concentrically accelerate hip uh, flexion, which is picking that hip up right there. Uh, see that from the side? Pick that up, boom, right here. These hip flexors flex the hip. They concentrically accelerate hip flexion which means they accelerate it so if your knee is down here and you want it goes from not moving to moving and goes up it would be uh, accelerating hip flexion so that's what the hip flexors do they accelerate that movement either from a stopping movement to faster or from a certain uh, speed to going even faster so they concentrically accelerate hip flexion and this is your hip and they accelerate that movement up. That's their job. Okay, so that's how they function. Um, the assisting muscles, which muscles help out? Not the quads, so we're gonna get rid of the quads out of this picture um, because they don't help out. So there, we got rid of them. What does help out? What helps out is your abs. We can't see those there in your obliques. So uh, those are in the front. Those help out uh, with hip flexion and also your adductors. These are your adductors. Adductor, um, and what they do is they connect to your pelvis and then down to the femur bone as well. So since it's kind of up there and to the side of here, you can see how they also would help to lift up. So those are your uh, adductors that help out in that movement. So if the, if the hip flexors ever get uh, shortened, we'll fully animate this, so we can move around here. If your hip flexors ever get shortened or not functioning right, what will happen is, is the adductors will pick up the work. Or even your calves from, will start pushing off because the hip flexors can't pick up. So, um, And if uh, the calves not functioning right, the hip flexors have to work harder. And then the adductors will come in and help out too. So uh, really you want all of that functioning right. Uh, your, your calves when they're on the bottom here uh, to push off when you're going to walk uh, in a movement walking. Uh, you want your calf to push off, your hip flexor to pull up, and the adductors to help out. 
So if anything's not functioning right, that order and how that happens isn't gonna isn't gonna work. Okay. So and the antagonistic muscle. So we're gonna go over what's the opposite muscle to that is your glutes. We're gonna turn on uh, a little bit more here so you can you can see that your glutes are your antagonistic muscle. When the hip flexors, if the hip flexors concentrically accelerate hip flexion the hip uh, extenders what would extend this hip backwards would be your glutes when your glutes pull boom that's what they do they'll pull you back so or if you're laying on your stomach and you pushed up uh, you did kicks or, or actually squatting and you're pushing up um, your glutes do a lot of that work or actually in lunges or any sort of kickback movement your antagonistic muscles to your um, hip flexors are your glutes right there and they concentrically accelerate hip extension not hip flexion but hip extension so your glutes do hip extension and your hip flexors do hip flexion okay so that's your antagonistic muscle what happens if this is shortened if you shorten your hip flexors from doing um, a lot of uh, hiking, a lot of uh, sitting down, uh, a lot of any movement where this hip is, is, is going from down to up, any movement that that's happening a lot, anytime that you're accelerating hip flexion a lot is going to shorten them, or even sitting at the computer. Why? Because this distance is short here. It's not very long. It's short here. And long right there okay so you, you don't you don't want to sit a long time that's gonna help shorten them and if you shorten them for a long time what will end up happening is this remember where they inserted in the back here uh, your we'll get rid of that torso again if they insert back here at the spine around t12 and the lumbar spine area what will happen is is they can actually start pulling on your spine and a disc can slip out. If a disc, if these muscles pull on, on a disc and, and, and your vertebrae and a disc pulls out, it can hit a nerve and then you got all kinds of back pain hurting there. So uh, you want to make sure that you're stretching these often. Okay. Otherwise, or you can get some pain actually down your leg too if it cramps on a nerve. Okay. So... You want to make sure you stretch those hip flexors a lot as you're exercising them a lot. Okay, so if you exercise, you pick this hip up a lot. Make sure you extend it backwards a lot, so or equally as much. Okay, and there's our tutorial on our hip flexors, and hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the animation there. This is in Maya again, and I'm Troy Knutson from um, GotHealthAndFitness.com or ExerciseWithTroy.com. Go check them out. Hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later. Now I'm going to shut this off. i got to learn how to do that yet. So here we go.